morning, good evening, good night. It is Divine Empress Queen T, LC, SGM. I am here and back with another energy soul tribe read for the lovely zodiac sign of Cancer. Stand up, Cancers. Y'all, I am back and ready to give this energy read, but before I do, y'all, uh, in my Gemini reading, I had first made up my son that I painted. And I was so happy and excited as I was doing it. <laughs> when I get that way, I always forget something. And I got to remind myself to relax and be calm. But anywho, y'all, I spelled the word pursue wrong. I had purse. I had the, <laughs> I missed uh, the U out of it. But right now it is correct. I don't pursue happiness. I create it. I corrected myself, but I'm sure y'all, if y'all check back on that Gemini reading, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people had caught that, but um, yeah, I caught it that same day and fixed it. But anywho, I'm back with the reading and Cancer, what I picked up from your energy. Some of the Cancers out there, you stuck and you stagnant and you stuck because of a relationship from in the past that you regret from not... Um, putting your whole foot forward, you know, stepping up and really actually um, committing to the relationship. So with that, it went south, y'all separated, went um, different ways and one person is stuck and stagnant still in that energy. Like, they might have cancers. You might have, like, a lot of options. A lot of people that's interested in you. But you can only think about that one person whom you were so attracted to that left, walked out of your life. You are just still stuck on them and you can't move past that. Yes. I did get that energy heavy for some of the cancers out there. And that's just terrible. You got to, um, you know, if it is meant to be, it will come back together. If not, you got to um, get out of that stuck and stagnant energy and move forward in your life. And with that being said, uh, for the other part of the cancer, she's moving forward and charging forward. You um, have could have been in this, like, dating process in this relationship, in um, a relationship, okay, now I'm feeling you ready to get on the same page. You ready to cooperate with your partner and work together, come together and be a team. Yes. Get on that same page. And I'm feeling once you um come, you just, you don't want to make it out into a relationship, but you possibly could be listening to your intuition and your feelings and you want to, um, <clears throat> you want to take it higher. You want to take the relationship to a higher level of commitment. And that is possibly marriage and will happen in the future. But despite all the obstacles, cancer, I see you stepping up in your power and your energy, listening to your emotions, um, getting out of your head and might be a little conflict conflict oh yeah i can't even, look i couldn't even get that word out stuttering conflict acting like i'm handicapped or something oh lord <laughs> um could be somebody you know with a speech impediment at, at times so the energy and i'm picking up with me shuffling up with my words like that or with my own speech yes um i do see you opposing all forces okay you might could and then within yourself as far as like with mental control over relationships and things i see you getting out of your mind out of that and not trying to have so much control over the relationship and despite all the obstacles y'all gonna overcome this in this relationship and it's going to um be just so um so much healing energy for both of y'all which i'll get out of this relationship cancer for you mainly yes your person brings you so much healing and happiness and love and vitality energy yes 
and this relationship is definitely going to be successful and i do see people rooting y'all on and cheering y'all on cancers so that is wonderful we're going to get on to the um, rest of this reading and get in some more energy and see what else this reading has to bring to the cancers right now we are getting into your chakra affirmation and what came out was the sacral chakra and <clears throat> it reads i am radiant beautiful creative and enjoy a healthy and passionate life yes sacral chakra i am radiant beautiful creative and enjoy a healthy and passionate life i love this for the cancers right now you could just be into your own energy positive like it says being creative and with the sacral chakra also as well and the love department passionately um sexually i see you being more creative in as well and that is great you know let that create creativity flow in the bedroom um also you could be wanting to um get back on track with your health you could be in a just like a healthy state right now with your body your mind eating good you know wanting or planning to work out so that's all great um just enjoying life and know that the energy that you have is a beautiful light <laughs> i love it I am radiant, beautiful, creative, and enjoy a healthy and passionate life. All of the above. You should. I love it. For the cancers. That sacral chakra. And key concepts of the sacral chakra are pleasure, creativity, sexuality, needs, and emotion. Yes. I see you tapping all up into that cancer, which is wonderful so you should definitely enjoy who it is you having relations with and make it creative and also being passionate as well yes i love it that's being said y'all we are now going to pull a message from the wild goddess oracle deck and boy too many cards flipped up there we just want one for the cancers Ooh, something felt like it was going to come out there two cards there is a bunch again and guess what you don't see this right here that one just flipped up like this this is what we take you're not going to take all these cards yep nope that's the one it is. And it is. Woohoo! The priestess. Giving that high priestess energy. I am feeling it. Like I said before, I felt that you was, you know, um, tapping into your emotions and how you feel and into your intuition. Yes. And you listening to all of that and you letting that guide you as well in this relationship. And like I said, that this person that you with cancer, it just brings you so much happiness and vitality. Mm hmm. Tapping into that intuition. I love this. You could be um for some cancers out there as well. You could be on a spiritual um journey, a spiritual growth in your life. Mm-hmm. On the path to a deeper meaning out of your life and what the people and everybody around you mean. Or maybe your divine purpose. You could be wanting to um be a spiritual teacher, maybe. But we are going to read the message that it says for the priestess right now for you, Cancer. And it reads, be still 
and know. Listen to your hunches and intuitions. OMG, what did I say, baby? Energy come through. I love it. Yes, be ready for solutions to seemingly unsolvable problems to appear. Okay, so any problems that you kind of let and worry you or bother you, okay, be ready for the solutions because they're coming. You already going to be, um, they already going to come to you with this intuition, listening to your intuition and um, getting messages within yourself. Yes. Okay, you don't have to talk all the time and, um, you know, be the most outspoken one. Know when to hush and listen. Like it says, be still and know. You can know what's going on, but you don't always got to talk and give advice and about everything. Okay, but be aware of your feelings and your emotions like you are. You tapped in with your emotions, your intuitions. Man, the message that I had got from before, I just love it. Tell you, my readings be on point and coming through with lovely energy for the zodiac signs that I deliver the message for. I love it. Cancer in this priestess energy. Yes. In this intuition. Okay, strong on the spiritual journey. Okay. Strong, you're letting your intuition come through and show, and I absolutely love it. But now we're gonna get into the tarot part of your reading and see what the tarot cards have to say. And cancers love life. Ooh, we got two cards there. The world's wonderful with the hangman. Yes, you're definitely getting um some spiritual growth, a transition in your work in, in your life with this world card, like a positive, like you're getting any you going within yourself, baby. That's why I said you <clears throat> you searching for a deeper meaning. You're definitely on a spiritual quest. You're going within yourself. And you are changing. You're changing for the better cancer. Oh, and I love this energy. It's so light. It's so light and bright, cancer. I love this for the cancers. Yes. Using your creativity. You're going within yourself. We got the page of pentacles out here. Could be in a manif in, ma in a manifestation energy. Yes, man. Somebody who I'm delivering this message to definitely has a speech impediment. Because I keep stuttering over my words. We got the star card on the bottom. This is major arcana card for the Aquarius. Healing energy. I'm feeling it. Yes. Um, you are could be manifesting. Yes, you are manifesting. You could be getting a message as well with this page of pentacles of good news. We're going to see what else comes out here manifesting. Ooh, seven of swords. You're getting a message. Cancer. Uh oh, oh, seven of swords. But this might could be uh, a message. <laughs> it's going to put you in your mind mentally. Okay. Um, You may feel like somebody is being sneaky or lying. Somebody around you. Ooh, yes, yeah, a tower card. Okay, it's going to be a big change happening. A big ups, upset. Let's see what else comes out with this tower. Let's see. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah. Ooh. I feel like somebody's sneaky or deceptive. Somebody's going to get a message. Okay. And this message is going to bring about a tower in this relationship. Okay. Somebody might. Ooh. Somebody could be maybe walking away, running away. But I'm feeling. Um. Uh, other person which it could be you cancer you're gonna be chasing after 
uh, chasing after your partner. This message is going to bring about a tower. Oh, yeah. Could be um, a separation maybe coming. Eight of Wands. Okay. Whatever separation of this message that's gonna happen, whatever tower, but it's gonna be some it's gonna be it's still gonna be some good messages, um, some love messages coming through from this person that just brings so much energy and happiness and hope and healing energy to you. Again, again on the bottom, Star Card Man is definitely Aquarius, some are definitely dealing with Aquarius, okay, with this emperor on the bottom, okay, <clears throat> some could have gotten a message from a father figure, this could be somebody that is a father that maybe have kids as well, you're going to get some good messages and news about a love, love interest, yes, yes. Yep, seven of cups. Options. A lot of people interested. Resources, but what you doing? Trying to work, focus on yourself. Eight of Pentacles, trying to manifest your dreams. Okay. Or you could have this one candle. Okay, burning for that uh, specific person. Okay, that's your wish fulfillment that you want to move forward with. Yes. You definitely do cancer okay but you are feeling that your person may be not be interested okay they over it this could be you maybe not sure yet of quite what you want you there you know it, you just are not acting on those emotions that you feel and you're starting to feel it and be aware of everything that's happening in your life, in this relationship, in your emotions, which is wonderful. Listen to them, yeah. Ooh, somebody has moved away. This is somebody for some of the cancers out there for this is somebody. That has left. That has left you. They. You know. It hurt them. You know. I think they might have tried to start. Try to stay. And maybe work on things. But. Um, they see it wasn't working. So they, they left. It was not. You were not on the same page. So. Um, person. Your person cancer. Just on your mind. Who you regretting this energy of not making things right. They jetted. They sailed away on their little boat. And they moved on to common waters. They say it, it hurt them, but they... People out there, you know, you gotta know what's best for you. And what works for you. Regardless of how the other person may feel, okay? Especially if, if it's something that you try and try to work on. And, hey, but you don't know how it goes. You don't know what you got until it's gone. I'm feeling that energy heavy. Yep. Not, you didn't know what you had till it was gone. Now you got a breakthrough. <laughs> An idea, a light bulb in your head. Okay, some truth, some clarity about this relationship, okay? Listen, with this king of ones on the bottom, I'm getting that Avant. I don't want to pass the torch. Baby, can you give me one more? I want to be able. 
yes, able to love you. Oh, I. But anywho, y'all, once again, y'all know I can't sing, but I had to sing it up in there. Yes, Cancer, you are not wanting to pass that torch, okay? You are you are still burning with passion for them. That's why, uh, yep, you're having all these other options. You're working, you focus, but you're not worrying about all of them because you the only person you can think about is that one that you lost, the one who you're still burning. You got that torch burning for passionately. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to have getting ready to have to cut this reading short. Yes, you got this person for some cancers. This is somebody who you didn't want to let go. You still got a passionate flame burning for them. And then this is some... This new love that's coming in, you uh, could be single right now. You and your person could be single, but this is your wish fulfillment. And you are highly attracted to them, Cancer. You're definitely attracted to your person with this King of Wands energy on the overall energy on the bottom. Okay. Yep, you could have had a lot of burdens, you know, maybe on you dealing with like where you live your house and um paying your bills maybe yep okay and it's for pentacles energy could be trying to hold on to every penny you have all right i'm coming yes y'all i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to, uh, to cut this um reading short the little baby is uh coughing sick um Yes, anywho, this relationship is getting ready to take off fast, quick, fast, in a hurry. But I got to end it short. I'm sorry, Cancer. I'll come back. Next reading I do for you will be great and longer. But duty calls. My child, my child comes first. So with that being said, Cancer, I hope this reading resonated with you. Um, bear with me. Like, share, and subscribe if it did. If it didn't, leave it to the sun and let it ride. And as I always say, pray, pray, meditate, namaste, I'm out.